Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I am a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we're going to cover how to configure IBM Tivoli Composite Application Management for a WebSphere version 6.1 data collector, or ITCAM for WebSphere DC for short, on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3. In the previous video, we learned how to install the data collector. Now we will learn how to configure it using the configuration tool wizard. So let's begin. Asking us whether we want to launch the configuration tool. We do, so we click next. We're now presented with the configuration tool wizard. Click next. We want to configure the servers for data collection. Next. So these settings are fine. Click next ask us to enter the fully qualified host name of the managing server and in order to find this out we will execute more on Etsy hosts and we see the fully qualified host name as itcam for webseer.mcl.technet click next it picked up the managing server home directory so we click next it picked up the data collector host name and it's asking us whether or not we are firewall enabled in order to find this out we go to system settings security level and here you will be able to disable or ena enable a firewall it's already disabled so click cancel and so we don't need the firewall enabled option so click next ask us what we want to monitor, WAS, so next. It picked up the two different profiles that we have, which one do we want the data collector to monitor, to be configured for, default 2, because default is being used by the managing server. So highlight default 2, next. It picked up the home directories for uh, the WAS and Java and the profile name correctly, so we click next and it's asking for the host name of where you're installing the data collector and the default SOAP connector port it picked up should be fine so that looks good click next it asks us to select the server we want to configure and it is server 1 so click next after you check server 1 and here it is asking whether or not we want to generate a response file Collection. click next and now it is applying the configuration so it says it has been successfully configured and the key thing here is the application server needs to be restarted before the change takes effect so we'll click finish and we will go to the WAS bin home again Execute stop server server one dash profile name default two. All right, stopped. So then we execute start server server one dash profile name default two and it is back up and running now the data collector does not start monitoring immediately we need to first assign a configuration to the data collector then we need to define monitoring level and sampling rate for the data collector and finally we need to assign the data collector to a group so in order to do this we need to start the managing server so we can close this out and open up a web browser and enter in the URL itcam for was.mcl.technet at port 9080 
am home. That's the login location. We need to use the account information, the root account. And now I'm logged into the managing server. So we need to go to administration, server management, data collector configuration. Click on unconfigured data collectors. And there's our data collector we just configured. We will apply a configuration of law CE default. Apply. And then we will go to administration, server management, server groups, create a group. We'll make the group name was. And here's where we set the threshold. That's fine. We'll just accept the defaults for the for the purposes of this demonstration. We will add this law server and we will save level by going to administration managing server system properties here's where you set your data collections settings what monitoring level you want and what sampling rates that's fine and then you would also go to level administration monitoring on demand And this is telling you what currently is set at level 1 and the sampling rate for this data collector. So for now, we will log out. And if you see here, we do have some response time for the WAS server. If we dive into that, well, this is the group name can dive into the server itself and we do have some data here with JVM memory usage if I change the sampling rate and the level of sampling we will get more data but as you see we have successfully installed and configured a data collector for for a web server application server so we will log out. So this concludes this video on how to configure IT Cam for WebSphere version 6.1 data collector. In the next video, I will show you how to install the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Server, or TAP, and the Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Agent, or TEMA, as well as configure the data collector for the TEMA. So for now, thanks for watching, and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thanks.